Yeah, hi guys. So, um, just getting these um, videos that they say that it's a Jubilee year. So, like, I'm not picking on the Rapture. I'm all for it. If, if, if this is Rapture, yay. But I'm just saying it's not a Jubilee year, right? It's not, it's not logical. For a start, it's not logical. Alright, so um, we'll have a look at what Jubilee is first. Alright, so um, <clears throat> seven cycles of a Shemitah year. So seven, seven years as a Shemitah. So you, you got seven sevens. Alright, so it's 49 years as a Jubilee year. And you usually <clears throat> celebrate it on the 50th, I suppose. Uh, on the 50th. But it's 49 years, alright? And it's to do um, with the ownership and management of land, alright? And um, slaves and prisoners would be freed, debts would be forgiven, and God would be manifest. Alright, so let's not forget the ownership and management of land, alright? So just keep that in mind. Uh, 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 I'll get to the point. <laughs> it's, it's a special time, but um, yeah, we'll just have a quick look at this one here. Hey, family, I have something awesome I want to show <clears> you right now. You've been watching my videos, and I've been talking about how the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur, can be the day of the Rapture Resurrection, or maybe sometime around that, give or take, because the last Trump that Apostle Paul said that would be. Okay, could be right around about here. Well, I'm not sure yet blown at the rapture resurrection according to first corinthians 15 verse 52 in a moment in the twinkle of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed all right so that part that he's talking about there is here all right this is where <clears throat> the dead in christ rise first all right so um anyway i'll get back to that rapture resurrection to take place this has to be a very significant last trump can't be like all the rest well in my last few videos i've been talking about how this trumpet coming up this last trump on the day of atonement Yom Kippur, is a very significant trumpet quick review if you didn't watch my videos in a jubilee year the last trump is not blown at the feast of trumpets it's blown at the end of the 10 days of all on the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur. But this only happens in a Jubilee year. Now, what's so special about this trumpet? Listen up. When this trumpet is blown, absolutely incredible things take place. According to the book of Leviticus, chapter 25, verses 8 through 10, this is what it says. All debts have been canceled to everybody, which will free everybody up from slavery. And then these slaves are free to return home. And according to the Jews, it's the holiest day of the year and a day of purification from the Lord. Now all of this is represented in the Day of Atonement on a Jubilee year at that last trump. Now, think about us, the body of Christ. What happens to us at the rapture resurrection? First, all of our sin debt against our flesh is forgiven and God purifies us. This is why the rapture resurrection takes place. And once we are changed, we are no longer a... Well, I don't know if that's why the rapture resurrection takes place, but anyway. <laughs> ...slave to our fallen <clears throat> fleshly bodies. We have been set free. And free, since we're no longer slaves, we go home. And where do we reside? In heaven. Now, this is solid. This is what happens on a jubilee year. The big question is, is this Day of Atonement coming up on a Jubilee year. And you notice he didn't mention land, like land management or any of that. Some people are disagreeing. They're saying 2030 is a Jubilee year. I'm about to show you a clip from a gentleman. I don't know who he is. He has shown the most solid information I've ever seen indicating 2023 is definitely a Jubilee year. He has the best documentation I've ever seen that proves it. Check it out. Okay, guys, so here we are. You may be going, what is... Now, no, those of you who don't know this brother's voice, I, I know him. He's very good, and he's very spirit-led, and he's awesome. I definitely recommend him. That's his channel there, Worship and Watch. 
Alright. Worship the watch. Other loves him very much. <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting um, Holy Spirit chills there. So, yeah, just because I was looking through all my sources, or so, well, these here, and yeah, if you're uh, look, looking for any good watchman or whatever, just uh, have a look on my Romans 7 6 channel and go through the subscriptions there, and most of all the good sources are there. Yeah, and I couldn't find this guy's channel in. Um, this one wouldn't open up this one channel and I I clicked on it before and I thought no that's not it and I went over again it wouldn't open up I've clicked on it like four times and it opened up four tabs I went ah that must be it <laughs> and it was him <laughs> yeah so very cool yeah so anyway land management keep going okay this is something I've never seen talked about in Watchmen circles Everyone skips to, you know, can a nation be founded in a day? And uh, we've got, you know, the, the establishment of the nation of Israel, right? But nowhere in that Leviticus verse that I just read you did it say, um, you know, when you become a nation, then shall the land keep Sabbaths. No, it says when you come into the land, okay? That's the key part there. Remember that. God told them to start counting their Sabbaths when they come into the land not when they become a nation all right so let's have a look of coming into the land and when you should come into the land and shall have planted all manner of trees so how, how long does it take to plant trees take a bit of, take a while especially if it's all manner of trees do you know they have eucalyptus trees from australia over there so they definitely have all manner of trees and a lot of them were taken over in the 60s <clears throat> all right and uh you should count the fruit thereof uncircumcised three years shall it be uncircumcised to you the fourth year all right goes to the lord the fifth year then you shall eat thereof all right so four years they can't do nothing with it anyway so they went into the land in 1948 all right and 1952 was when they could start to do, uh, well, just after 1952. So 1953, they could start um, taking their off. All right. So. <clears throat> this is the long journey of the Holy Spirit. Took me. I, I've been, I have been just exhausted for three days trying to find what the Holy Spirit was trying to show me. I, I, I talking back and forth with my brothers on the, on the text, and I just couldn't make this video until today, until this moment. So, what you're looking at is the mandate for Palestine. Okay, this, I want to draw your attention to, this is the opening, opening kind of intro here. Look at the third, whereas recognition has thereby been given to the historical connection of the Jewish people with Palestine and to the grounds for reconstituting their national home in that country. That's the big thing I want you to take away from this. Here's the other thing though. The mandate required Britain to put into effect the Balfour Declaration's national home for the Jewish people alongside the Palestinian Arabs. Right here, this is what it says. This is what the mandate of 1922 that was when it was written, but this is the date it became effective. So this day, September 29th, 1923, is when this right here, this paragraph, all of it, but especially this paragraph, went into effect. So the Balfour Declaration was put together in 1917 but did not go into effect until five years later in 1923. When do you start counting sabbatical years and you start counting sabbatical years when you come into the land the Lord is giving you? Okay so this, this and we have the Balfour Declaration of 1917 right? That was when it, that was basically when they said we're gonna do this okay but this, this right here this is when it went into effect, okay? September 29th, 1923. So, if that's when the count for
before Jubilee years began. See that? Now since they're back in the land, they can start counting all over again. Everybody tries to go all the way back to 27 AD, come Jubilee. Well, that's a big mistake there right away. I didn't notice that the first time I went through. What he's saying is, is you can now um, change the Jubilee. <clears throat> so, um, no. Because <laughs> Shemitah cycles don't change. Seven and seven, right? You let the land rest. Right? And uh, all that sort of stuff. You don't just decide, oh, the land doesn't have to rest. All right? So God, God doesn't stop counting. All right? So, um... What do we got? Let's have a look. Um, all right, so the other thing they're saying, so that if there's a jubilee here, right, on the on the on the pre-trib rapture, <clears throat> what happens straight after the white horse rides? All right, Jesus is a white horse. He comes in and he warns Jerusalem that, to get out to run because they uh, um, they haven't let the land rest, right, and they got to kick, get kicked out for seven years and. Over, they'll be over here, come back there to the temple, start building it around about here. All right, so they get kicked out, <coughs> and uh, Jerusalem gets destroyed, and whoever's left goes prisoner. Right, a uh, uh, jubilee is the exact opposite. You're freeing slaves, you're not making slaves. All right, so straight after the white horse rides, there's going to be slaves, cause, uh, and as soon as Jerusalem's destroyed, that's when the red horse rides. All right, so. The, the, this is not sounding like, you know, well, even though God manifests, it's still like he hasn't taken over the land yet, right? When he takes over the land, is over here. This is when he's ruling and reigning. All right, so, <clears throat> so yeah, so out of this uh, rapture group come um, some seals workers, right? And the seals workers <clears throat> go into seals and help bring in the great multitude all right and um they get they'll be getting killed as quick as possible They're, this lot here is this lot here um because of the dead in christ these are the dead in christ right and the dead in christ rise first here right to help with the manilial reign and it's a reward this is what you get as a reward this has got nothing to do with your salvation stuff this is a reward all right um <clears throat> So they, they rise there. Um, so you'll see in the, where Paul says they're above 14 years ago. All right. Paul's over here. All right. And he says above 14 years ago. Not above 13. Not above 15. He says above 14 years ago. So this is this lot here. A newer man. And guess where this man went, right? He went to, no, not paradise. No, he went to third heaven. All right, third heaven and paradise, not the same place. All right, and then he said, I, I knew, and, and I knew such a man. So not, not a man in Christ. He knew someone similar to or like, similar or like, right, to a man in Christ. And he went where? He went to paradise. All right, that's this group here. This is the such a man. All right, I knew a man in, in Christ. I knew such a man, right? The only reason why these lot went into um, tribulation was so to get them into Christ, all right? But or to make them repent. Okay, so this is this is the such a man. Um, all right, so um, now you got your Jews back here, all right? Um, they're doing their helping build the uh, the temple and that. With Jesus, by the way, because <laughs> um, he's the one. The you'll see it there. The uh, the branch, right, builds his temple. All right, um, in Zechariah, I think it is. So the and this is the wings of the eagle, right? So where the Jews flee um, just before the the bad, all the bad stuff happens, and it's a sideways rapture. All right, so. Um, yeah, your, 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 your jubilee will be here, right? It, it just makes sense. You, you just gotta 
see it as for what it is. It is is the king or God going to start his reign on a Tuesday or is he going to start it on a Jubilee? Right? Why, why would he choose any other time than a Jubilee? And that's when the Trump, the last Trump, right? This is the last Trump. Don't need any more Trumps after that. Everybody will already know, right? And you'll see in the last, very last bit of Matthew there where the Jews are sent out to go and um, teach, right? They no longer have to preach because everybody knows who Jesus is, right? So um, that's why Matthew's the longest book, right? Because it goes right up to here. Mark is for the tribulation saints, all right? And Luke is to the bride, the uh, pre pre trip rapture. Alright, hope that helps. God bless.